Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everybody had a nice holiday. My train works. This is coming from outside going to the other outside. I finally fixed the tracks. It's a little bumpy because of the trees, but I thought we'd go on a little ride here before I get into the video. I'm just very happy. It took me a while to figure this out. I rearranged some things, but yay, it works. It goes all the way through my city. Bye bye train. Okay, so we are in my city, my updated city. And before we get into it, I'll, tr okay, try not to hit the wrong keys. I'll try to go slow as well. This is our, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Okay. I will try to go slow <sighs> as I talk. Now, I got a Christmas present. I now have DLC. Industries, After Dark, and Transportation. Those are the three. Hi, Birdie. And I'm terrified of them, of course, because I'm not going to do it right. But I'll start with industries. This used to be my yellow industry area. It is now all dark blue and offices. And I try... Oh, gosh. It's just never going to work. You're going to have to put up with my dumbness. I tried to decorate as best I could using fruit trees and... These are cherry trees, and this is the Hakaranda. The purple one? No. This is cherry. This is a flowering tree. This is the Hakaranda. And then I gave them a nice walking path out here. In the last video, I had mentioned that my downtown looked like Detroit, so that would be the Detroit River. Well, the Detroit River is actually about this wide. This isn't the Detroit city side, but whatever. This used to be my industry. So I gave them places to sit and play and have fun and look out at the water, which they never do. It's kind of sad. I wish they used these things, but they don't. But they do walk along here. And I went a little cuckoo here. I was experimenting with a lot of stuff. Rocks and that ugly lichen. I can't stand when... YouTubers splash that stuff all along the rocks, which I know is natural. You can see it here. But I just think it looks so ugly, and I ended up doing it myself, and I still don't like it. Okay. I give up. I'm sorry. This is crazy. I thought in camera mode it would be a little bit better, but no. So anyway, tons of places for them to relax. This all used to be industry. And I got rid of it all. I have industry left here in yellow. It just won't spawn. And this is the DLC part of the industries or transportation. I'm not sure. But this is the garbage. And this is garbage. I'm not quite sure what it does. But that is something I'm having major issues with. Garbage and dead bodies. And I just can't stand it anymore. So I did what I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> and I downloaded a mod that is supposed to take care of it. I hope it works. I haven't quite looked into it yet. So anyway, traffic is absolutely fine. I had made this wacky looking thing for my trucks to get to the other side. Take care of business here. Because this is the area that has the biggest problem with garbage and death. And I don't know why, because they have this, they have this. There's at least, yeah, see there's one here. There's one over on the other side. There's two more over here. There's one over here. I have one here. And, I, you know, I just don't get it. And the garbage trucks are right here. And I have garbage up in my oil. I have garbage over here. And I have garbage hello the other end of my city so I just don't understand why I would be having issues traffic I kind of fixed almost 
like it was a fluke. I made another massive roundabout house. See, it does do this on occasion. But then all of a sudden it just clears itself out nice. And I don't know if it's all being despawned, but I've watched it. And it just seems to come in spurts. Because it's usually backed up way down here and it's not anymore. And over here was a madhouse because of this stadium. That's worked itself out. I had to, well, I'm over here when I shouldn't be, but I'll explain that to you in a minute. <laughs> We're going to go to the industries. I... <laughs> I sound like an idiot. I apologize. More of my playing around with the decorative stuff. Just to see if I'm any good at it. And I don't think I am, but it was fun while it lasted. I can say that much. It wasn't that tedious. Well, I can't quite say that. It is tedious and time consuming, but I think it's worth it. Even if your sim is never going to use it. As far as not enough workers goes, this part of my town was down here and it ended here. No, I think it ended here on this strip. Yep. Nope. It ended on this strip because I remember this corner. I added all of this. This was recent, all of this here. And then down in my big city, I added another strip of dark green and this tiny little bit of business here constantly telling me there are not enough workers and they keep going on abandoning I keep having to delete them and then they build back up and they instantly say not enough workers this is my DLC oil industry I'm terrified I was absolutely terrified to try it and I'm still terrified because I don't think I'm doing this right. Can you still put down yellow strips if you're using this? Because here's where I'm getting confused. Have the devs made the yellow defunct by doing this? If you have industries, you no longer need to use the yellow strips? Or can you combine the two? That's all I need to know. But as far as this goes, I am sure I plunked down everything except the cracker plant. But these four here, I had all kinds of oil rigs going on. The little ones, the medium ones, the large ones, and I just set them down. And they were constantly telling me there were no buyers for goods. So I went online and it said to keep the storage on empty. I had it on balanced. So I put it on empty and that took care of it. But every few minutes a gold, the little bubble would pop up saying not enough buyers. Then it would go off and then it would come back on and then it would go off again. So the other suggestion was to delete your yellow industry. And so I got rid of it all here, and that worked. These guys, you can't see it in camera mode, but this one is constantly telling me it's not getting enough buyers, and then the other three will follow, but not as often. This is my DLC forestry. This was 10 times worse. It was horrible. It just, no matter what I did, it would not shut up about lack of buyers. So I put a huge one. I put a medium one. I have a couple small ones. And it, ugh. I had them all unbalanced. I turned them all to empty. I put down every single plant or whatever that this thing, well, whatever is available to me. And they just wouldn't shut up. Well, after I did the full, no, empty, and got rid of industry, these guys completely fell into place. Oil? No. 
this one rig here, it just won't leave me alone. So I opened up my ore, but I just, I couldn't, I just didn't have the heart to go through that again. So this guy's sitting here all by himself and I'm not that worried about it. I did goof around more here. <laughs> just, I find them, I plunk them down just to see what they do. It's fun. It's kind of fun to do that. But I am thinking while I'm doing that, I was like, what am I going to do next? I added a second cargo hub here. And as you can tell, my trains are working now. We went for that little ride. I gave my industries the same road. They're sharing the same road. They're coming off on the expressway. They can get in down here onto off of the expressway. So there's a way in and there's a way out. And if we go over this hill here where the train was, I just wanted to show you. This was so high and I, I had never noticed it. I had all of this underground going over, you know, to the other side. And I think that was where the issue was. I had something anarchy, road anarchy or something. I know these look steep and everything, but taking them out of under the ground into over the ground worked and I ended up getting rid of that anarchy thing you're supposed to turn off collision right and it didn't matter every time I use that thing I had trees everywhere and you can't delete them and it was just I couldn't take it anymore so anyway all of my train track was replaced and it just that was the trick that was all i had to do and everything was fixed everything was fine this as you can maybe tell from this distance is so sweeping and i had it on the ground and i'm like that is dumb so i raised it up that worked and yeah trains are coming and going so i was very very happy about that and before we get into my city i'm sorry i hope i'm not making anybody dizzy I wanted to show you that coming into my city from Canada, <laughs> which we're calling Canada now, I fixed this up. Long slip lanes this time, so there hopefully won't be too much of a tie up when the city gets bigger. So you got to wait on this road to get in and this way, long slip road. I made another massive, <laughs> another massive roundabout, but you could also get out of the city from coming in. That helped tremendously as far as my traffic goes. Yes, there's more of my rocks. <laughs> Here's my city coming in. Traffic was a nightmare. Right about here. I used traffic lights. And as you can plainly tell, this is parked cars. It's busy, but it's all moving. So the traffic lights in some instances do work. It just depends on where you put them. I went fancy schmancy here and I gave them all the little goodies. Nice place to walk around here. I have two hospitals, the massive police station and a massive fire station and it seems to be working these guys here and again this is a mix of dark green and dark blue and they seem to be thriving this is the colossal building i guess this comes with the game i don't know maybe it was a part of the dlc and then these are my detroit buildings here i moved them they used to be down here so what i did because in my last video I said that this was the Detroit River and I tried to widen it as best I could. Went a little cuckoo with the rocks. I'm going to have to move them or get rid of them or something. No, nah, whatever. It looks... But this was about as good as it gets. So I figured I would come in here and make Belle Isle. So I dug this out to make the island. And no, it's not an exact replica, but it is Belle Isle. 
And Belle Isle for real is is just trees. And uh well they call it a zoo. It's not really a zoo. It's where they have like injured and confiscated exotic animals from drug houses and stuff. It's a neat place to go. But it's a beautiful place to just drive. There's road all the way around the whole thing. You can go inside here. Picnicking, barbecuing. It's a great place to watch the fireworks here. So this would be Windsor. This is Canada. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with Canada here. But like the Detroit skyline, Windsor has the exact replica. Only there's a huge Johnny Walker. What is it? What does Johnny Walker make? Whiskey? Gin? But the factory is right here. I wonder if there's a mod. Asset. Maybe I could plunk that down. <laughs> so that's my thinking. Oh, I wish this was wider. Detroit River, Belle Isle, Windsor, and Detroit. <laughs> now, as far as my big city here goes, I think I had mentioned this earlier. This was where we started. I added this. It's all dark blue and light blue to make these guys shut up. And it kind of did the trick. But anyway, I added this whole strip today to try and combat the lack of workers. Didn't seem to do anything. I am going to take this up to here. And then I'm going to stop. Not forever, but just for this particular area. This is going to be my high-rise area. And it would be university and the stadium. So that would be about the extent of it. And then here is where I'm lost. It starts up here and comes down. I've tried working with the terrain as best I could and it's just not working because it's up here and then it goes down here. This is like a, a valley. So I'm a little intimidated by it. So I think I'm gonna leave this area alone and I'm gonna concentrate next on my farm which I didn't think was in a good spot anymore, but I'm going to leave it. I know that the suburbs are right here, but I think this rural area might work if I strategically place the trees correctly. I'm going to use dirt roads. I'm not going to bulk it up the way I do these. It's not going to be a sprawling suburb. I think I'm going to make my farm and have homes dotted throughout hopefully that will be enough workers here I don't know but we'll see what happens with that if it doesn't work out or if it clashes with what's here I don't know because I really didn't want to do this it was just so close to here and my industry and these I thought well all right the workers should be close to their homes and then over here as big as this is, I want to get a lot more offices in. But I don't think I want this whole area here to be skyrise. Is that the word? High rise. <laughs> I knew I was wrong when I said it. So that's about as far as I've gotten. And I like my progress. I'm happy with the way things are going. I'm just absolutely blown away at how far I've come. And again, I'm by no means an expert at this game, as you can plainly tell. I still have to get rid of these wind things. I did get rid of them here. So I have to go back and thin out these trees so that... But I still think at the level that we're looking, because this goes down... I think even with the trees, these guys have a good view. Maybe not these guys here, but I did put the chairs in strategic places, even though they never use them. I see a lot of my Sims will walk down here once in a while, but I wish they would use these things. I wish they would play checkers or chess, and I wish they'd buy things. It's kind of a shame that we have these assets, and yet they're never utilized. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions or ideas yourself, you're welcome to share them with me. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, I'm scared of the DLC. Yikes. Okay, let's go back toward the city. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I really appreciate that. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're interested. Take very good care of yourselves now. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Yikesies. <laughs> okay, back it up. There we go. Okay. Take care now. Bye-bye.